now going to show you how to sharpen a graphite pencil. I don't use a pencil sharpener for my graphite pencils. A, because the barrel of the pencil is slightly narrower than normal colour pencil. Uh, and B, because you get a very uh, short conical point which very quickly wears out and is not so nice to work with. So I like to hand sharpen my pencils so that you've got a really nice long piece of lead exposed. That forces you to hold the pencil further back um, in your hand, which may mean that you have to use a pencil extender because if the pencil falls short of this part of your hand and doesn't rest safely in the joint between your forefinger and thumb, you've lost control. So when your pencil gets shorter, invest in one of these pencil extenders so that you can make your pencil a bit longer. Um, it also enables you to see right round the point. You've got a 360 degree viewing area round the point of your pencil. So when you clasp a pencil up tightly and you draw like that, your drawing tends to be pinched and, and uh, tight. So this enables you to draw more freely, but with very fine detail because you've got an extremely sharp point. So here's a blunt pencil and my sharpened scalpel blade. Um, I'm just holding the scalpel in my left hand. I am left-handed, so I'm only holding it. All the work is going to be done by my opposing thumb, this thumb here. Um, if I use any pressure with this hand, the point will just break off. And you'll see why in a minute. So just, if you're right-handed, just hold the scalpel in your right hand and use your left thumb to push the scalpel down the pencil. So going back about an inch, a good inch from the point, I'm going to start paring off the wood. So using this thumb, I'm pushing into the pencil and just shaving away the wood, turning the pencil and shaving the next bit. So I expose about half an inch of the lead. And you can feel when you get to the lead because you can feel it, the texture change and it starts to crunch. So no pressure with the hand holding because otherwise you just do that and the point breaks off. So it's just resting on here and I'm pushing with my other thumb. And once you've been all the way round and you've exposed a good half inch of the lead, then just lightly shave that down to the point. And I'm, it's a backwards and forwards action like that. And now I'm going to turn the scalpel th through 90 degrees and use the blade, and I am using my hand holding the scalpel now, to just shave this point to a really sharp end. So I'm twisting the pencil as I sharpen till it's really sharp. And then if you want to, you can finish that off on an emery board. But that gives you a really lovely point because for me, this is my Stradivarius and that's what I use for all my work. This is a surgical scalpel and it has the longer blade. This is the number 26 blade. Um, and it's very sharp, obviously, it's used for operation. So I'm just going to show you how to change the blade safely. So if you hold the blade between your thumb and your forefinger very firmly, really firmly, and then just lift the base of the blade off its post and just slide it off. And then the same with the fresh blade, take it firmly very firmly between your forefinger and thumb and just slot it over the notch at the end of the post and slip it on. It just slips into place very easily. And that's it. It's a good idea to keep it safely embedded in a cork or a piece of um, rubber so that you don't cut yourself um, accidentally because these are really sharp. Mm -hmm.